He, um, my husband helps me out a lot, and especially with the kids, being that I go to school and eat time, so he does help out a lot. He cooks some days, some days I cook, but we do like quick meals, because he's really not a, you know, just because just choices that you make. You just have to weigh your options. Is it really worth it? Do I really need it that bad? Am I, am I at a place in my life where this is my only option? Can I, can I put up with this? Can I make this happen with everything that I have to do in my daily life? Can I fit it all together? Can I focus on my kids? Are my kids still gonna be? Help me the opportunity to get there. You know, what resources I need to take to get there. Or whatever, because I'm willing to do it. I'm just, that's just what I want. My message would be to maybe not judge. Because I think a lot of people judge that I don't know income or receiving assistance or whatever the case might be. I think not just on judge because it's just a different situation. You don't know what this person have been through to be in this situation. A mom's day. Yeah. Yeah. These women consistently show up for other people in their jobs and families in Jackson, Mississippi. All people get public assistance, including the wealthy. So why are only those programs designed for people in poverty so punitive, paternalistic, and unduly complex? Our work aims to reveal the true narratives about these families and explore a new approach to policymaking that gives voice and power to the families that policy is intended to serve. Join us.